Hello again. Well, we're uh, back on the coffee table, and I suspect this episode we're going to be doing quite a lot of grinding. Like this. Well, that was a lot of grinding. Now for a spot of lunch, I think. Oh, that was a nice lunch. Nice bacon sandwich. Anyhow, you can see there are some areas where uh, we burnt right through and, and created holes. So uh, definitely need to fire the welder up and uh, fill some of those back in again. This is the worst bit, really. Um, I mean, that's failed to weld at all. We've really done is melt the edges there. So uh, yeah, that bit needs redoing. But, but actually, the rest of it is not desperately bad. So. Um, let's fire up the welder and fill those back in again. filled in uh, the worst of the gaps there. Um, let's have a grind down again and see what it looks like. Well, uh, what I want is a shelf to go across here um, to put little bits and pieces on underneath the main top. So we've got some sheet steel here, which um, has been hanging around for a little while. And we need to get the, uh, the guillotine in on the action, really, don't we? So uh, let's cut a bit the right sort of size to uh, go on there. I'm going to leave a gap at each end, um, partly because I think that'll, that'll look a little bit better, I think. Okay, well it's about 398mm uh, between the, the legs, so um, I reckon about 15mm each side, so I cut it about 368mm, I reckon. Okay, so I'll uh, mark 368 here. And I'll use this square to uh, square it off. Right then, uh, 
first use of the guillotine in anger, really. Let's see how it goes. Now I need to measure between the uh, tops of the um, supporting tube. So use the old trick of uh, not trying to hook the tape on the end, but to use the 100mm mark to rest right on the centre of that tube there. Uh, so I can see that the middle of that tube is about 336. So I need to take the 100 away. So I need to make it 236mm wide. Okay then, well we measure um, our 236 across here and square it off again. I'll use the original cut edge of the steel just in case my cut isn't quite square, which is quite likely. There we go, and now we uh, trim this off. I'm going a bit off track here, so uh, it's quite difficult to correct it. I think, uh, yeah, it's very difficult to correct it. How am I going to do this? Maybe it's come quite a long way off track there. What I think I'm going to do um, is mark this again to that point and recut it because I can afford to lose a few mil and then it'll drop uh, a little bit between the bars because I've made a bit of a mess of that and I can't think of a way of correcting it very easily. So uh, let's mark that up again. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Um, I don't think that's too bad either. Okay, so just laying it on there, I think you can see what my uh, intention is. Um, I think that looks pretty okay. Will go on there well, I think. So what I need to do now is to uh, wire brush this paint off here as well. So we've got somewhere to weld to. So uh, I'm just going to do that now, and uh, then we'll be perhaps in a position to tack it up. like subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new